What's up, y'all? <laughs> Don't worry, this is not alcohol. This is an energy drink. <laughs> I'm tired. Anyways, today's video is a favorites video. I can't believe another month is down. It's crazy because we thought 2021 was gonna be so different and it's just been more of the same bullshit, you know? Like, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna share my July favorites with you guys. I actually have quite a bit of things. Not a lot of makeup, surprisingly, but I do have like a lot of like lifestyle, like body care, hair care, skin care. <sighs> Let's just get into it. So I'm actually gonna start with body care. So the first thing is actually a pretty large thing, okay? If you don't follow me on Instagram, you don't know, but I recently started getting Brazilian waxes, okay? I am converted. This is now my religion. I can never go back. My only thing is I hate going. I hate going and I hate the experience. And every time I go, I just, they say things that make me very uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, and I recently had a beach party for Gavin and I just didn't have time to go get a wax. So I brought the wax home. I actually got this at Ulta. This is from the brand Par Parissa. Parissa? It actually looks like a Brazilian brand. I don't know. This is the Legs and Body Organic Sugar Wax. I got the one for sensitive skin just to be safe, you know. I could get a little sensitive. <laughs> um, and then I just bought the uh, epilation strips also. It actually comes, this is a full kit, so it comes with like the sugar wax, like a tub of sugar wax. It comes with like the little dipsticks or whatever. And then it also comes with the strips, like the strips to, you know. And I know what you're thinking. Okay, Brazilian waxes are extremely painful and the fact that you have to do it yourself it's it's a lot so I wouldn't actually recommend this for someone that has never had a Brazilian wax I would actually recommend that you go get one by a professional first kind of get a few of those under your belt before you try to do it yourself just because I feel like if you're not used to the pain then doing it yourself is just not gonna be an option you're gonna hate me like but this is actually exactly what my esthetician I hate that word uses <laughs> it's the exact same thing it's organic I had no reactions to this which is nice and I it let it was the same effect I was smooth and it was beautiful okay so I will probably no never go back to the salon because I just you know I would much rather just do it at home and it actually didn't take long I want to say if you're gonna do this carve out a good like 30 40 minutes and I normally like prep an area so I lay a towel down you know <laughs> also exfoliate before you do this you must exfoliate before you wax no lotion well I do use a spray like for pain and I've talked about that before in like a pre previous favorites video I'll actually put a picture of it on the screen so I do use that prior and then I wait 30 minutes and then I kind of like prep the area I lay a towel down and it's easiest to do it in front of a mirror this is getting very personal <laughs> anyway if you're interested especially because you know LA is like shutting down again I mean this 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 whole COVID thing is just never gonna end. Yeah, if you're interested in doing it at home, I would totally recommend this. I I, I love this. <laughs> wow, I talked about that for like a million years. <laughs> anyway, the next thing is also body care. This is actually from the brand Lumi. I think it's Lumi. This is the deodorant for underarms and private parts. I actually got like a, I don't know what you call it. It's like a sampler set. So it comes with, you can choose five different scents and I think it's like $30. Basically what this is, is you can use it on your pits on your feet and on your privates so y'all have heard me say several times I'm a sweaty bitch okay I've actually recently been trying to go for more like natural deodorants and it's been a struggle because you know like I I, I don't appreciate the funk okay <laughs> so I wanted to try this just because a I, I sweat a lot and I have very thick thighs okay and sometimes it's you know not as fresh as I would love for it to be so I actually got these just for like those creases right where my legs meet my pelvis you know because I feel like oh and also the under boob I'm a, I'm a busty bitch you know like <laughs> just because I do feel like those areas get a little sweatier than I would like and I just I don't 
don't want to smell funky, you know? And honestly, so my cousin actually had an outdoor baby shower last weekend, and I did try the warm vanilla scent, and y'all, I was shocked. We were outside, okay, it was hot. <laughs> and I was so fresh all afternoon. It was beautiful. My only thing with these is like, yes, they're scented. Like I got the warm vanilla, I have jasmine rose, I have lavender sage, sweet lily, and then I also have the clean tangerine. They do smell like the scent, but they also have like a sour tinge to them when you apply them, like right out of the tube, they do smell kind of sour. That's not how you will smell though. It does keep you strangely fresh. I, I, I don't know how, but I did try this in my under boobs and I tried this, you know, in those creases, you know, y'all, y'all thick girls know what I'm talking about. And it worked wonders. I, I'm sold. When I run out of these sample sizes, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a full size because, well, anyways, I'm like real chatty today. <laughs> Next, I have a hair care product. This is from Way. This is the leave-in conditioner. This is actually the travel size. I actually bought this uh, on the way out of Ulta, and I just wanted to try it. I feel like, uh, I don't know if you know, you can't really tell now because my hair is kind of wet, but I have like lighter pieces in the front of my hair that are just so dry. Oh my God, I'm just, I'm so over it. I keep trying to cut my hair because I just want to cut those pieces out already. I'm just, I'm so done. Anyway, so I wanted to try this. It's been a while, so I kind of wanted to like you know give my ends a little moisture and this is actually amazing so I washed my hair the other day and let it air dry but I put this in it when it was still damp first of all my my natural hair texture is pretty wavy okay it's not curly but it's like mad wavy when I put this in I guess my hair just felt so moisturized and so healthy and just so supple I had ringlets like actual ringlets. I have not seen ringlets in my hair in forever. Now, they weren't like tight curls, obviously, because my hair is not curly. It's not. <laughs> but it did look just so healthy. It, my, my natural hair texture looked healthy, which never happens. It always looks dry and frizzy, and it did not, so I'm sold. Uh, when I'm out of this, I'm gonna go get the full size. <laughs> the next thing I have is actually a skincare item. This is from Fresh. This is the Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. This is like a staple in my skincare now. I actually, this is the second one I bought. I've already repurchased this item, and I just, I just love this. I love how it leaves my skin so anytime first of all I use this daily okay morning and night I wash my face I tone my face and then I apply this before all of my moisturizers and my eye cream and all that stuff this I feel like balances my skin so well it does have oil in it you can see there's like oil in it and then there's like uh, I don't know it's like water or something I don't know but it does feel super hydrating it makes your skin feel super healthy but it doesn't it's it's not greasy okay it sinks into the skin and your face just looks healthy it has a healthy glow and I just absolutely love this and I felt like because I repurchased I gotta tell you all about it so if you have dry skin if you have even normal skin I have oily skin and I absolutely love this and I especially love this when I've done something that has been kind of abrasive if I've exfoliated or if I've used like a really intense mud mask I'll use this to kind of you know nurture my skin back to health you know I love that the next thing I have is actually this this is something that I got in my boxy charm box like a couple months ago and I just I just got around to using this so this is actually from the brand the word and this is the woke cool steam eye mask first of all I haven't used the ice packs that come in here this is a silk mask basically and it, it has like pockets on the inside where you can like stick stuff and it does come with these like cool packs where you can like stick this in the fridge or in the freezer and then you slip them in here. I actually haven't used these yet though. I actually used one of the heat, what is this? This is a steam session heat cell insert. So there's like two pads in here that you insert into these pockets and they warm up. Okay, like they get real hot, like real hot. Like at first it almost scared me, like, but I did try it just on a night where I had, you know, just a little extra time. I wanted to relax. I had had a rough day, you know, and I actually used the eye mask with the heat patches in it. Y'all, I actually fell asleep with it on, like it knocked me the hell out. This is like the ultimate relaxation, uh, thing. I don't know, <laughs> but like if you have a rough day, and you just need to knock the hell out, use this. I just, I couldn't believe how warm it got and it was just so relaxing. And it just, it made me just knock out immediately. I mean, I was, I was out. 
Like, I love this. This is like my new secret weapon to de-stress, you know? Okay, so we're getting into makeup now. Let me actually just start with this. So I didn't sh do an unboxing with this box because it, it just came too late, you know? But um, I actually received the Norvina BoxyCharm box. It was like the July premium box and it was curated with all of these Anastasia products and this was one of them. This is actually my favorite powder of all time. Anytime I ever need to look flawless, this is the powder that I use. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder. This shade that I got in the box is actually translucent. I had the banana shade already, I'm pretty sure. And it's my favorite powder of all time. It makes you look so smooth, just so airbrushed, but it never looks cakey. This is like my holy grail powder. This is the powder that I run to when I need my makeup to look flawless and stay flawless for an extended period of time. I feel like this powder sets your makeup so well that it just doesn't doesn't move, you know? <laughs> this is the powder that I'm wearing today. And again, I am wearing like the full nine, okay? And my face will look like this all day, okay? All day, you need it. And I did think that that translucent powder was gonna be a little bit too light for me because it's, it's like a white powder. It's like a stark white powder, but it doesn't actually stay white on your face. And I have a tan, okay? I am real brown right now. <laughs> anyway, speaking of brown, the next thing, <laughs> this is from Alamar Cosmetics. This is the Hydrating Complexion Trio. This is in the shade Medium Tan. Yo, this is actually the bronzer that I'm wearing today. I, I love this. This is actually a dupe for my Fenty bronzers. These just look so airbrushed on your face. They look so natural. They blend out beautifully. They're pigmented enough, but they're not so pigmented that you have to go in with a light hand. Does that make sense? Like you can go in in and it'll blend out so nicely, but it still has like you can build on top of it. So I actually started with this bronzer all around my face and then I used this one to contour right here. I don't actually use the banana shade as often because I just, you know, I'm not about like a bright under eye look. It is a really soft under eye powder and it does look really soft under the eyes. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look too brightening, but again, it's just not my thing. You know, I only use the bronzers in this palette and the bronzers are it. This is a nice palette. The next thing, you know what? I'm just, I, I fucks with neons for summer, okay? And these palettes just killed it. These are from ColourPop. This is the Moon Haze palette and then I also have the Neon Gaze palette. I'm actually wearing the Neon Gaze palette palette today, but this is what the uh, Moon Haze palette looks like. And this is just, okay. I feel like these are so good to travel with, especially during the summertime because they have all the colors that you need for a neutral look with a pop of color. Do you know what I'm saying? Again, this is the palette that I'm wearing today. And you know, just like this color here actually just like threw me off because I don't know if you could tell, but it's a matte shadow, but it has like shimmer to it, but very fine, like delicate little glitters, you know? It doesn't look chunky on the eyes. I just, I love these palettes. I love the tones. I love that they're neutrals with a pop of neon. I love that for summer. I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling it, you know? And I love that the neons are actually ones that show up on my eyes. Like the pigment is there, they're soft, they blend really well, and they wear all day. They wear really nicely. Now, keep in mind, I always wear an eyeshadow primer. I just, like it's non negotiable for me. I have very greasy eyelids and if I don't use an eyeshadow primer, all of my eyeshadow creases. I've never found an eyeshadow that won't crease on me. Okay, so I do always use an eye primer. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. I've talked about this before. It's my holy grail. So when I say a shadow lasts forever, that has something to do with it too. But these are really great. Again, if you don't have oily eyelids, I don't imagine you would need a primer, but I do. So I always Always use one and these just they they are it I love these palettes the next thing I have is actually just a black eyeliner okay this is a staple product in everybody's makeup collection now it's not an exciting product to talk about but it is one that everybody needs you know everybody needs a really good black eyeliner okay and this one this one is real good Okay, this is from Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 Waterline Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Legend. Again, it's just a black eyeliner. I am actually wearing it in my outer corners today. Let me just say, I am a contact wearer, okay? So I never wear eyeliner because it always ends up in my eyes and then it gunks up my contacts and sometimes 
like if I wear a colored eyeliner, it will stain my contacts. So if I wear a blue eyeliner, it'll stain my contacts blue because it won't stay in my waterline. <laughs> so I normally never wear eyeliner, but this one is legit, y'all. I actually did a black smoky eye the other day and I took a bunch of pictures for Instagram and I did it early. Like I did my makeup early and I wore it all day long, like all night long. I mean, it wore forever and this black liner never moved. I actually lined my upper and lower lash line. This never moved, y'all. It looked at the end of the day the way that it did when I first put it on. It didn't move. Like, I, I don't think I can tell y'all. Like, <laughs> enough how much it shocked me that this was still in my waterline. It had not broken up. It had not smudged. It just didn't go anywhere. My contacts were clean at the end of the night. I didn't have a bunch of gunk in my eyes. I love this black eyeliner. This is like a holy grail black eyeliner. This is, and it's like black. Like, it's black. Like, it's real black. I just, you know, you need it. It is kind of pricey. But for a black eyeliner that doesn't move, I, I don't feel like you can get that anywhere but here. <laughs> Especially if like all you're using is black eyeliner, like you don't want it to end up under your eyes at the end of the day, you know? This won't do that. You're welcome. The next thing. You know, I feel like all my favorites are always like high end. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like I do need to do like a deep dive at the drugstore again because, you know. Anyways, the next thing. <laughs> this is actually the Marc Jacobs mascara. This is the, this is the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara from Marc Jacobs. This is like, the writing is just so tiny here. This is just in black. First of all, I love this wand. I love the natural hair bristle ones or whatever. I hate plastic ones. I just don't feel like they do anything for my lashes. But this mascara, y'all, it's not dry, but it's not too wet. I just feel like it's so volumizing. You know, it is so volumizing and it spreads out your lashes, y'all. Like it fans out your lashes. Just, uh, just, it's amazing. I feel like my lashes look fake when I wear this mascara. It just gives you so much volume, but they look soft and fluffy the way that like mink lashes do. I'm just shocked, you know? It doesn't like crumble and get all over my face. It wears really nicely too. And I just, I love the effect that I get with my lashes. I mean, I, I you know, <laughs> I, I love this mascara. This is probably gonna end up one of my holy grail mascaras because you know, like I fucks with volume and I fucks with length. And when a mascara gives me both and doesn't flake, you guys, I'm in love. It's gonna suck repurchasing that though because I'm pretty sure I got it in a boxy charm and now I'm gonna have to pay for it, you know? Anyways, the next thing, I actually have a bunch of lip liners, which is so unlike me. I rarely ever wear lip liners, but as of late, I've actually only been wearing lip liners. I've been using them to fill in my lips and I just had a few to talk about. Okay, so the first one is actually from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. This is the lip liner in Coffee Cake. This is actually the lip liner that I'm wearing today. I, I have found my new favorite nude. Okay, this is like a very, like a warm tone brown nude. Again, it's what I have on my lips today underneath a lip gloss. Y'all. <laughs> First of all, it's very creamy on the lips. It doesn't drag. It glides on and it's super pigmented, but it doesn't feel like it's going to move around everywhere. It does have a really long staying power. I wouldn't say it's the most long wearing lip liner, but it does last a pretty good amount of time. And I just love this color. I feel like I have never had a lip liner that I can use to overdraw my lips because I, I don't know, it just never works out for me. You know, just overdrawing has never worked out. Um, but this one is one that I feel I can use to overdraw my lips. So if you're one of those people, if you love overdrawing your lips, really I only overdraw at my cupid's bow and then in the center of my bottom lip just because I feel like it gives a fuller appearance. And this is actually a lip liner that I can use to do that, which I, that says a lot, you know, I never overdraw, but I can overdraw with this. <laughs> the other ones are from KKW Beauty. I, you know, I'm always hesitant to kind of include any like Kardashian merchandise, I guess, <laughs> just because, you know, like I just, you know, 
<laughs> but these lip liners are actually really nice. They are really nice. They are really long wearing. They're really creamy. They glide on the lips and they just last, you know? So I actually have the lip liner nude too. This is actually a really good nude for me. And it is kind of like a warmer kind of chestnut nude. And then I also have red too, which is kind of like an orange red. And I actually use this for all of my orange lipsticks just because if I don't use a lip liner with my orange lipsticks, it looks looks too bright. It looks like I just used a highlighter on my lips, but this kind of helps tone that down a little bit. And then I also got red number one, which is actually more like a true red. It's more like a blue toned red and it's, it just goes perfectly with all of my reds. And I do feel like, again, these are very long wearing. They're very creamy, very pigmented. And I just, I really like them. I actually wore this orange red to my cousin's baby shower the other day and it lasted through tacos, which that's, a, I mean, that says a lot. If you last through tacos you're doing pretty good you know <laughs> okay so I have a few lifestyle products that I've like discovered this month and I just I feel like I need to share I know this is a beauty channel but I just I feel like I need to tell y'all okay so the first thing Desi okay I own I want to say every style in at least one color okay and this style I actually own in two different colors and I think I may have featured this in a favorites uh, before but this is like the ultimate summer sunglass okay tell me no okay tell me no this has actually been like my favorite pair to wear and i feel like i don't know is it the limestone it just looks so classy they look good on everybody i bought my mom a pair of these and they just you know they look good all the time they look good with any outfit i feel like they match everything because it's such a neutral like limestone color it's like a nude you know it goes with anything so i can wear black with it i can wear hot pink i've worn neon colors and this and it's just a nice pop you know it's a nice accessory and i just like you know it comes in this beautiful box it comes with a little pouch or whatever i feel like they're designer sunglasses without the designer name tag I mean price tag <laughs> I just this is I this has been the only pair of sunglasses that I've been wearing I I, I love these sunglasses the next thing is actually <sighs> So if you don't live in LA, <laughs> our mask mandate has been re, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what you call that. We're back under the mask mandate, basically. So I've had to like re-up on some masks or whatever, and it's just been, you know. <laughs> but these masks, I feel like, have changed my life. So if you live in LA, you're welcome. So these masks are actually from Rothy's. I'll actually link the website down below. First of all, I love the material of these because they're breathable. I don't know if you could tell. It feels like a scratchy material, but it's actually super comfortable on the face it's super breathable and they're super durable and they have like I don't know if you could see they have nose pads here and then they have these pads here on the sides and they just fit snug on the face but it's like super easy to breathe and I just I, I love these these are actually Gavin's they have uh, like a green set and a blue set for kids and I just I, I love these masks I have them in black for myself and I just you know I just feel like they're comfortable you know they're comfortable they're easy to breathe in and I love them material of these they're comfortable they cover like the whole face <laughs> and I also have them in this like pink and blue color and then I also have them in like the camo colors or whatever I I love these masks they're again just super comfortable they fit over the face really nicely and they're just easy to wear you know I just feel like this whole mask thing is just I'm over it you know but you know <laughs> the next thing I feel like this is like a summer necessity especially for us girls with thick thighs okay my even when I'm like super skinny <laughs> my thighs just rub together they're always gonna rub together they touch just they have touched my whole life I was born with thighs that touch I just you know and in the summertime they can get rough okay and dre it, like dresses are hard and I just but this summer I vowed to like start wearing dresses dresses and sneakers are my shit okay but the thighs you know I just like I gotta take care of my thighs and I actually found these at Target so these are from Jockey this is the no chafe smoothing cooling seam free slip short <laughs> They're like 15 bucks I think some of them are 12 bucks and they're just first of all they're almost like kind of made of like super thin like nylon or like spandex I don't know but they're like you can see through them kind of so they're not the kind of like shorts that you would wear as like bike shorts but I wear these under my dresses all the time and I just they're so comfortable they're so comfortable they're not like so thick that they feel like 
hot, you know? I don't sweat in these, and I just, you know? They protect the thighs, you know? And I just, I, I love these. These are like my new secret weapon. Skirt, dress, no problem. Like, <laughs> okay, this next thing. Um, this is actually a gigantic scarf. Like, a gigantic scarf. I may have to stand up to show y'all, I don't know. But like, I can basically wrap myself around this twice. Like, like I can fold it in half and then wrap it around me like a blanket. It is the most gigantic scarf of life, okay? This is actually from Blue Salt and it is, it is really expensive. Like it's really expensive. This was actually gifted to me by my mother-in-law. I just, I love her so much. <laughs> but it feels like super soft, like super, super soft t-shirt material. And it just, it is so like, you know, it feels almost like super soft jersey, but it's like thin and breathable, but still cozy, you know? And it's literally like, if I fold it in half and stand up, it's literally my height. Like, can I show y'all? I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, do y'all see, do, do y'all see how giant this is? And it's like, I mean, do you see? Like, anyway, I just, I really, I, I really love this. It is super pricey. I, I want to say this stupid scarf is like $160, but this is like the last scarf that you will ever need. I actually traveled with this and it was like the most amazing travel companion. You could wrap it around your neck, wrap it around your face. You can use it as a blanket. I actually keep it on my bed and I actually use it as like a throw blanket almost. <laughs> and it is like an investment, but it does feel like one of those scarves that you will never have to replace. Like the material is just so durable, but so soft, you know, and just luxurious. And they do go on sale. Like I want to say my mother-in-law actually only paid like maybe 50 bucks for this when it was on sale. So I would keep an eye on the website, you know, and for somebody that travels a lot, like I, tr I travel a lot, y'all. <laughs> I just, this has become like my new best friend. I will never, this is my security blanket. I just, you know, okay. And the last thing, you know? So this is like one of those skincare headbands or whatever. I actually bought these on Amazon and they have changed my life. Okay. I saw my best friend actually purchase like a six pack. So I went on Amazon and purchased a six pack and y'all I this has changed my life okay I absolutely love these they do come in a bunch of different colors so I bought the set that came with these I, I had to have I had to have the animal print I just had to have it and then the black and white you know like it's just it's a no-brainer I do have a yellow one also but it's in uh, my bathroom and I just they're super soft and it keeps like all your baby hairs from getting wet you know when you're washing your face and if you have really like intense baby hairs like I do. Sometimes when I get them wet when I'm washing my face, when they dry, they stick straight up and I, I hate that. But this helps, you know? <laughs> like, anyways, we have reached the end, y'all. If y'all stayed till the end, like, props because this was a lot, you know? <laughs> so that's it. Those are my July favorites. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe and stay tuned. <laughs> So I'm gonna show, I'm gonna share all my July. <laughs> no, Zoe, no. <coughs> um, oh, I'm reading, I'm reading the side that's not in English. <laughs> oh my God, I've been here for 10 minutes and I have done nothing. Let's, let's move a little quicker. The next thing, I'm, uh, but, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, uh. But I feel like for an, a black eye night, why am I drooling? <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it's the most long wearing lip, uh, lip liner. <laughs> like, it, it, you know, I may actually have to stand, why, why, why is this, why is this happening? I don't like it. Uh, that's it. Those are, uh, 